In the previous videos, I've introduced how we can go from a pattern to a numerical sequence and then to the nth term. So now we actually want to use this because there's no, we must have to use them. We wouldn't just come up with this expression out of thin air and not use it. So let's say I want to know what the um, 50th term is in each sequence. What is the 50th term? Well, remember that we're calling this the nth term. Okay. So all I've done is replace the n with 50. And that's exactly what we do for each of these problems. So if n is 50, then for the first sequence, I would have 4 lots of n, so 4 lots of 50, and then plus 1. 4 times 50 plus 1. So that's 201. So that means that for the 50th pattern of these little sheds, or huts, I would need 201 matchsticks in order to make that pattern. Likewise for this pattern, I would need, well, two lots of 50 plus 1, so I would need 101. So I'd need 101 matchsticks to make the 50th pattern of this sequence. Now, for this number sequence, 12, 9, 6, 3, 0, minus 3, and so on, subtracting 3 each time, really what we're asking here is what would be the 50th number in that sequence? So I've got minus 3 lots of 50 plus 15. Well, minus 3 lots of 50, that's minus 150, plus 15 is minus 135. Okay, so that would be the 50th term in this sequence. If I wrote out the sequence 12, 9, 6, 3, 0, minus 3, and so on and so forth, then the 50th one in that sequence would be minus 135. And that's how we use the nth term. 